All right. Hello, wine drinking people. Today is Wednesday, July 27th, finishing up the month of July. Just one tasting this week. Oh, I'm sorry. We got two events on the same night this week. We got a Pinot Noir tasting at Cafe Max featuring mostly California wines, but we got one uh, French thrown in there and a couple from Oregon. And then uh, we've got a dinner with Rafino, uh, uh, some wines from Rafino Vineyards and from Italy uh, at Mancini's tomorrow night as well. So two events on the same night. You can't can't do them both, unfortunately. And I've got a private function I'll be at, so I, I won't be at either one of them. But we do have uh, some great stuff coming up in the month of August. Check it out on the calendar on the side of our email there. What have we got to sell you today? Well, today, well, those of you that have been in the store know one of my favorite subjects is the wines of the Piedmont. And whenever you see a wine in three different sizes, that is a clue that it's one of my favorite wines in the store. Well, Barolo is one of my favorite wines. Karabolskis is one of my favorite producers of Barola. Kara's family owned Borgonio Winery for the last several hundred years. They just recently sold it. This is located in the town of Barolo, the oldest winery and one of the most, uh, well, we always send people to go visit this. It's got a, like kind of a museum right there on the property and a really neat place to visit. And Kara, her winery that the family purchased in 1981, uh, it's just right across the street, so it's very convenient for us to send people over to see Kira, and then she was kind enough to go and take them over to her brothers at Borgonio. But uh, we're still sending people to see you, Kira, and uh, the Borgonio wines still uh, one of our favorites. Also, we've got a great vertical selection of Borgonio wines in the store at all times, and we have vintages of this wine, the Canubi Barolo. She does make two different Barolos, Tenuto Nuovo and Canubi. Canubi is my favorite. This is one of the most prized vineyards in the Barolo. Um, district there's five different main there's five main districts in the Barolo region and I think 11 total dis little areas but five main ones Barolo being one of the largest and one of the most important this is where the Canubi vineyard is from and this is a vineyard that is uh, like I said meticulously farmed Kiara is an absolute uh, absolutely passionate about making wine her father wanted her to get married off like most good women do in Italy in the old country but she would have none of that she wanted to make wine and when you go and visit Kiara you'll see she, her fingernails are dirty she's out there working in the vineyards she's dragging hoses cleaning barrels at the winery it's a really small operation she just makes a few thousand cases of wine under this e Pura label and we have the Barbera also the 2000 2006 Barbera, 2006, an outstanding vintage for the Piedmont. Well, it's kind of easier to remember the off vintages than it is the good vintages because they've had an incredible run from 1996 through to the present. Only 2002 faltering. And then 03, kind of difficult for some people. Kiera's 03, which we do have on this offering, is a little lighter than the rest of the wines. And her wines are lighter in style anyways. They display the classic Barolo uh, characters of this red cherry liqueur, this lovely rose petal floral notes, and a little bit of tar. But Kara makes her wines with small barrique, which it would be considered by most of the uh, the old schoolers to be heresy. They don't like to use any new oak at all. This 2005 vintage, the new release, another great vintage from the Piedmont, and she's lowered the oak down to about 70%. I think one of the things that new oak does is really mess with the aroma of Nebbiolo when it's young, and it adds a little bit more tannin to the wine also, which Nebbiolo is such a tannic varietal, you really didn't, don't need to add tannin to it in most vintages. But this 05 is another killer vintage for the Piedmont. Check it out. And the rest of Kira's wines on today's email, I'm your host, Andrew Lampasone, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.